What's up, YouTubes? Welcome back to my channel, Richard on Data. My name is Richard, and this is the channel where I talk about data. So I've talked about the fact that I work as a data scientist before, and for the overwhelming most part, I find the work to be incredibly rewarding, to be really creative, and it's really something that I have a lot of fun with, except for cleaning data. That part still kind of sucks sometimes. It's also true that the market for data science is white hot right now, and there's absolutely no indication that that's gonna slow down as we move into 2020 and into the next decade. Having said all of that, I think it's incredibly safe to assume data science is absolutely not for everyone, and there's nothing worse than going into a new role and then realizing it's not for you, and then you have to spend a lot of time and a lot of energy, and there's just tons of wasted capital that comes with switching into some different kind of field. So I want to give you five reasons why data science may possibly not be the career path that you want to go down in your individual case. And as per my usual disclaimers, these are based on a combination of my own personal experience, the anecdotes from people that I still keep in regular contact with, as well as just general research and observations about the market as a whole. So all I ask is you please watch this video to the very end to figure out if data science really is the correct uh, path for you. But then also hit the like button and hit the subscribe button because those things also really do help me out. Reason number one why you might not want to actually get into data science is if you want to come in in day one and make big, huge, sweeping change to your organization. So it's really easy for people, especially those who are coming fresh out of school, to think that you're going to be running a bunch of really fancy, really sexy machine learning models, and you're completely going to come up with this invention that changes the world, it changes the whole way your company does business, all that kind of jazz. The unfortunate reality of the situation for the overwhelming majority of people is that you're not going to spend your entire day running machine learning models and building and training and testing those things. Even if you do, you're going to get tired of doing that really quickly. Trust me on that one. The reality of the situation is that businesses tend to move very slowly. And there are a lot of reasons for that. First of all, if people don't trust a statistical or machine learning model, they will never change the way that they do business based on that. And there's just a political reality with most businesses that there's a lot of people that need to be involved and need to sign off on making a decision. And that's doubly true with data science, which for a lot of companies, it's a newer field. So it's a lot less established and it's more difficult to use it in order to change the way things are done from day to day. Having said all of that, if your company is any good and knows what they're doing, they will communicate to you how you're actually contributing to the bigger picture and moving the needle. So your work will have an impact. It's just important to ground your expectation and realize your work will contribute to moving the needle on various business decisions, but it's probably not gonna be in some big, giant, monumental, inventive kind of way. Reason number two that you might not want to be a data scientist is if you want to be a task taker. Now some people, they just want to show up to work and get told to do by their boss and then just go from there. And I completely understand that. But if that's you, data science might not be the career choice for you. The reason for that is data science problems tend to be very open. They're very unstructured. Clients and stakeholders and people you're working with, they're looking for you to come up with a creative solution and to really get them out of unstructured chaos. So what that often looks like is you'll have to try a whole different number of things and you may end up going down some paths which end up not working. Then you have to go back and redo your work and just live with the fact that you were wrong about something. Even if in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter too much and you're moving in the right direction. So you do have to be very, very creative on the day to day. So if you just want to be a code monkey or a task taker, you might want to rethink data science. Reason number three why you might not want to get into data science, and this is highly related to the last one, is if you don't like working with other people. So data science is an incredibly collaborative and very multidisciplinary field. Unless you're working in the absolute smallest of startups, you're probably going to be working in a team with other data analysts, other data scientists, maybe people from all kinds of different other 
disciplines and skill sets all together, and you have to talk to and communicate with your clients and your stakeholders on a frequent basis. So if you want to be just a code monkey who shows up to work for eight to nine hours a day, sits in a cubicle and writes code, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. In fact, if that's you, go for it but that's probably not going to be your experience with data science and you shouldn't expect it to be. Reason number four not to become a data scientist is if you don't like keeping up with industry trends. So it's become a bit of a joke in the data science community, the ridiculous number of programming languages and skills that people are expected to know. And while I think that's highly exaggerated, there's definitely some element of truth to the fact that you need to at all times be aware of the latest and greatest things that people are working on and technologies that people are using. So just to give a bit of an example, right now the two biggest juggernauts in programming languages of data science are R and Python. I don't necessarily see that changing over the next few years, but it's highly possible that five to 10 years from now, there's some brand new programming language that comes around and it just blows R and Python out of the water and then the whole industry and market gets on board with that. The earlier that you got acquainted with whatever language that is, the better because years of learning and years of experience are incredibly valuable. So if you're somebody who just wants to be done with learning as soon as you get out of college, you're going to unfortunately be disappointed in data science because honestly, the learning only begins once you get out of college. There's all kinds of things that you're gonna learn inside of your job and also with data science in general, you do you need to keep some kind of eye on networking as well as maybe going to industry conferences just to keep an eye on the landscape out there and figure out what other people are doing so you can stay on top of where the market is moving. The fifth and final reason not to get into data science is if you hate either coding or math. So this gets back to the first video I did where I described that a data scientist is a jack of all trades who carries a lot of different skill sets. That whole picture does matter. So let's say you're a math or statistics student, you're in school, and you don't necessarily enjoy programming or coding. Well, unfortunately, that is the reality of most data science jobs. So if you don't like doing that and don't see yourself doing that every day, you don't want to go into a career where you might be miserable every single day. And then similarly, suppose you're in software engineering, some other capacity where you're programming a lot, but you don't like statistics or you don't like math. That is going to hold you back in the long run because anybody can spin up and prototype a whole bunch of machine learning models, but if you have no affinity or no knowledge of the underlying math and statistics there, it is going to hold you back. Now, it's completely reasonable to be good at or to enjoy one of these two more than the other. That's totally fine, but if you have a total aversion to one, that's going to end up being a problem. So at the end of the day, there is a lot of hype behind data science right now, and it's completely understandable why. There's a lot of money behind it. It's this brand new thing that's white hot in the market, all these things, but it's also something which a lot of people have very unrealistic expectations about. In part, that's because of all the different information about it and job descriptions of data science which are broadcast to the world. So it is important that your expectations about it are somewhat grounded in reality. So if you're comfy with and you understand the things that I've outlined in this video, again, your experience could vary somewhat, but as long as you're aware of these potential realities, you're probably going to be okay, and I think it's going to be just as enjoyable an experience for you as it has been for me. So thanks for watching this video. Until next time, Richard on Data.